I've had the last two days, I've been so friggin' nervous because um, I have the opportunity of shooting off a ski and everything that I was kind of thinking about has now come into fruition. So I'm going out with um, Dino Carmo, the local um, driver. So he's going to take me on the ski and I'm going to be shooting from the water. And we've got a brand new swell that's starting to hit right now. So we're going to kind of do a half day um, out at Nazare. And uh, yeah, and then tomorrow is meant to be, well, it's peaking tonight. And then tomorrow is going to be big and uh, gnarly. Um, not the biggest day, but still pretty big. Uh, the winds will be good in the morning, then swing a little bit round to the south during the day. But yeah, I'm definitely shitting myself, to say the least. Here he is. You. How are you, Dino? Good, good to see you, buddy. And you. Welcome. So this man is a local. I knew you always here, but I didn't know where you were living. So you've been here all your life, huh? Yeah. You grew up here. Yeah, my yeah. my grandfathers, my grandmothers, yeah. everyone's living in in and, and you're a professional bodyboarder by trade, like where you kind of over Try the years. some years, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now working more than. And what are you doing now these days? Now it's time to to working more with jet skis, with uh, cameramen, tourists, surfers. This is my life now. I competing and surfing a little bit, but. I don't stay focused to... Yeah, this is how you make a living here, to pay the bills and yeah. live a life, right? <laughs> so, um, so, so this is the story. So I, I, I like, you know, I need to get a, a unique angle. And from the land, it's not so unique when you've got 5,000 people, you know, trying to shoot the same angle from the yeah. land. But in the water, it's certainly unique. And this <laughs> man knows the water better than most. Um, Monday, we're looking pretty big, you know, so solid, uh, big period swell. And you're going to hopefully put me into the good spot and get the shot, right? <laughs> <laughs> so number one priority is safety. So, so, so putting a cameraman into an angle to get the shot yeah. and when the wave comes at you. Yeah, I think it's really different. It's uh, different jobs. And uh, for the cameraman, the driver stay working all the, se the session. Mm. For the driver of the surfer working uh, 10 minutes, wait uh, one hour working 10 minutes in other wave it's different mm. i working like you if you like stay three hours filming i stay three hours all the time focused to don't flip and to catch the, the good waves okay and what do you feel have you looked at the charts from for monday looks good yeah they look super good and for it's a good period eh? and uh, monday it's it's looks and the period's good because you want a bit of period between the waves. Yeah, so exactly. tell the viewers why the period's important. The period, the, it's important for the, the wave growing up more and to touch the slowly wave with the fast wave to, to have the first peak. Mm. And also it's much better for the, the surfers and the jet skis have more space between the waves. And for sure to filming it's awesome, much more safety and much more clean to, to filming. Back to the game. <laughs> Again, one more year here, doing what we love to do. When we saw those numbers and those that forecast, we know we're gonna have some good waves. So it's just timing to get ready, all set, and get some bombs. Looks like a good two days, huh? Yeah, looks like an epic day tomorrow. Tomorrow looks, looks pretty perfect. Actually, nothing bad and that's well so i hope we have some good waves some good barrels and start the season with the right foot well don't think too much just be present that's how you relax you know if you overthink you always screw up i know well just enjoy the moment <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna enjoy the moment for yeah, sure. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. But just a matter of relaxing. Uh -huh. and it's not me screwing up. It's the driver. I'm just gonna be pointing the camera and pushing the record button. Yeah, but but that's, it, it doesn't belongs to you. You know, you have to just control yourself. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. What you cannot control, just relax, man. That's right. Yeah. And I've been out there many many times. It's not like I haven't been out there, but I haven't been out there for a while. So. Man, you're a legend. <laughs> This is um, not ship turns or the right, you yeah. know, where I'm just sitting and in the channel. And you're fit. Look you. Yeah, I can fall off. and I've fallen off four times out there. Yeah. Fifth time doesn't make any difference. Just, uh -huh. next, just don't leave me in the drink. Come and save me, Carlos. Save if me. I, if I have a chance, that would be a pleasure. <laughs>
<laughs> have fun out there. Yeah, yeah it's uh, it's probably the big swell, the first big swell of the season. So yeah, let's um, let's see how it goes. It's not picking up. Uh, so the idea is to go there and get some good ones. Yeah, for sure. Oh man, it looks good. It looks good. I saw the waves in the morning. I already had a lot of power. The ocean shows a little, you know, some very good waves. And yeah, man, the expectations is, is as much as better we, we can imagine. First round of the season, good size, looks huge for tomorrow. We just like pray and everything goes well and you get some nice bombs, man. Right? Break some records. <laughs> some swell on the way, right? I mean, there's quite a bit of swell on the way. First swell of the season, everyone's excited. Um, I think it's going to be pretty big tomorrow morning. I'm not so confident this afternoon. Uh, I think the swell's still pretty west and then it's going to it's gonna turn more north. And yeah, and everyone's rocked up for it. So it's a, a typical kind of like get together. It's the carnival, mate. The carnival's here. <laughs> it's made it to Nazaré. It's first swell of the season, you know? Everyone's here. Everyone's here, ready to rock, right? Ready to ride the biggest wave in the world. You! Something that I don't have. <laughs> So my flotation, so you, I'm here half naked and sun's out, which is a good thing. Um, so I got a, uh, obviously a wetty on. Whoops, just about, and I got me life jacket. This is when I fall in the water and I drown. They can grab me by the back and that's kind of worthy. Then I got my squeegee. So that's for the lens. And I got Dino, he's gonna keep me safe. Back in this is the first real swell, eh? Yeah, it should be fine. Ah, uh, it looks walled out though, big. Right, sort of a bit straight. Yeah, a bit straight. Maybe sec like second, third peak, it looks a lot cleaner right now. Mm. But then, you know how it goes. It's like always a flurry.